Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a huge Thousand Suns army that we've had the pleasure of working on for Lawrence and the team over at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, if you're not familiar with Tabletop Tactics, then you really should be. The description to both their YouTube channel and also their website with their on-demand service can be found in the description of this video. Uh, really great platform for watching loads of cool battle reports. Uh, Lawrence and the guys do a phenomenal job over there, so make sure you go check them out. Uh, this is one uh, an army that we've done for them. We've done a few. We've done a Ravenwing army. We've also done an Ultramarine army as well. Um, and this, this army has been completed by Ben One, the artist here at Siege. There are so many great models within this force. We're really going to pull it apart and take a look at different aspects of it throughout the video. So uh, this is going to be the main shot of it so you can see all of it in its glory. Uh, just to run through it very quickly, you've got six rhinos, three predators, three dreadnoughts, 30 rubic marines, 15 rubic terminators, nine sorcerers, Ariman, and then the man, the legend himself, Magnus, right there at the back. So this is going to be an absolute treat, this video. We'll be back in a second and start with all the characters, go through all of those so you can have a look at those a bit more in depth. Yeah, this is going to be a great video, guys, so it's going to be a bit long, but I hope you can stick around and check it all out. Uh, enjoy the eye candy, and I'll see you back in a second. Hey guys, so to start off with, we're going to have a look at all the HQs in this force, and as you can see in front of you, there are nine sorcerers, Araman and Magnus. I'm uh, going to pull forward each one of these, uh, or the, the sorcerers individually, we're going to pull them all forward, and Araman and Magnus. So it's going to jump around a little bit, but uh, keep watching this section, because these characters are great models. GW kits are phenomenal, and uh, there's some really, really cool poses and things that Ben's done with a lot of these kits. Stick around, I'm going to pull Magnus forward first for you. There would be no better place to start than with looking at the man himself and uh, the model is fantastic and uh, ever since it's come out it's been, it's been a really really sort of captivating model with loads of detail. Um, so just gets the focus for you guys. So as you can see here, full highlighting work, full detail work across the model as you'd expect from any sort of centerpiece model of an army. Uh, this whole commission is painted to a silver level for Lawrence, uh, as he normally has that with us. And uh, as you can see, there's no expense spared, so all the eyes are done, all the little gems and lenses and things that are all over his arm on, armor are all sorted out and all done. Uh, nice little intricate sort of eyes and things on all different areas. The little gems are all picked out. Uh, all the eyes have got multiple highlighting point of light source. Uh, as you can see there on his face as well, if we can just get to focus, loads and loads of highlighting there all on the flesh so you can see a uh, real sense of energy as well on these sort of like tattoo things that are in here as well. And um, overall, great model. It's, it's, it's such, so much detail. It's, everywhere you look, there's just exceptional amounts of detail. As you can see there, there's the uh, these halberds. Uh, move around there, obviously, to the wings. You can see all the sort of, sort of ethereal sort of colours that have been used just to give it a real sense of sort of uh, glowing effect. Uh, his mane as well. All the tabard all picked out. Just going to have to focus again for you guys, sorry. And uh, and there you go. As you can see, all the feathers all done there as well. Um, his book on his hip as well. All sort of all highlighted with parchment as well, all highlighted. Um, every aspect of the model, multiple highlighted, all edged and, and layered to give it real depth and contrast uh, up to the brightest points. Uh, even the sort of uh, Space Wolf Dreadnought arm there has got no expense spared. Loads of sort of uh, weathering and shipping all over that as well just to push that detail work uh, that we offer here at Siege and uh, again a little bit of freehand on the tabard uh, zinc symbol as you can see there has just been done and uh, moving around it's a real contrast on all the metal work and gold uh, as you can see there nice sort of uh, glowing energy effect here as well on this ball of uh, fire ethereal energy on the end of his halberd uh, feathers are all sort of picked out with contrast and highlighting as well as you can see there uh, all the bone work on his horns as well loads and loads of brush work all put into there to show the Real sort of grain that's in that bone uh, on that crest as well as you can see there. I love this model, really, really dom like sort of dominating kind of look. Um, really powerful as you'd expect from sort of Magnus, and uh, it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant piece. Um, huge as well. As I say, I've seen the model in the flesh quite a few times, but to, to have it sort of in your hands in front of you as well, just it really the scale of it is just ridiculous. It's so so big. Um, but loving the flesh work as well, it goes from sort of reds to purples as well. Um, it's just it's an overall really good model. Ben's done a great job as you can see here. So that's Magnus. Uh, gonna go next on to an, another infamous character. We're gonna look at Araman, pull him forward so you guys can have a look at him. Back in two secs. Next up, we have Araman, and this force would not be complete without him, so we're going to pull him forward now for you to have a look at all the great detail. Uh, like both the models, the old sculpt as well, I've always been a fan of it. Um, so when this new one came out, it's, it's just it's taken that sculpt and just made it ten times better, uh, as you'd expect from an updated version. But as you can see, all, all the details fully picked out, loads of different sort of highlighting and contrast work applied. Uh, even on the rear sort of tabard bit, the uh, the sort of whitey grey area of filigree has also been multiple highlighted there, just to really give it sort of that uh, bright point of light. 
light on the, the brightest points as well, which is really nice attention to detail. Uh, Ben's had a great time working on these different individual characters, as well as obviously all the Rubik Marines and all the different aspects of this force. Uh, again, the Disc of Zinch is a really cool little aspect of this model, so with all the fire, gives a really nice addition of colour to the colour palette for this model. There's lots and lots and lots of colours used on this, as you can see, with all the gold, the blue, the purples, uh, the ethereal glow on the energy from his sort of psychic casting that he's about to do. Uh, and then obviously you've got the fire on the Disc of Zinch as well, as you can see there. Um, but no expense spared, full detail work, full highlighting, uh, all the areas of detail fully picked out. And uh, overall, uh, uh, this is the finish that you expect on a silver level commission with us here at Siege. Uh, so moving around, as you can see, the tabard is really big. You've got a nice cream ended as well, which is really nice. And then obviously you've got like, loads of contrast and hue change on the, on the cape there at the back as you move it. You can see all the different areas of colour that have been used within that. Um, really like all the new sort of aspects that have been added to the detail work as well, like all the tabards and little trinkets and skulls and things that are on the model, which is really cool. Uh, so that's Araman, great model, uh, really great HQ within uh, within the sort of Thousand Suns army. So I hope you like it. Next up, we've got a load of sorcerers. There's nine in this force. Uh, we're going to pull forward a selection of them so you can have a look at them all. Uh, loads of great poses, loads of different aspects of uh, sort of modeling and painting that's been done on them as well. So I do hope you like it. Stick around. The rest of the HQ is coming up next. Hey guys, so the last section of this HQ's part of this commission update video and uh, you would expect a Thousand Suns Force to have a lot of sorcerers and this army does not disappoint. Um, there are nine uh, individual sorcerers within this force and uh, what we've done with the kit and what Ben's done is uh, try to make them all posed as different as possible within the constraints of the kit. Um, obviously when you've got nine of them you want them to all look individual if they're fielded together but at the same time have that unanimous kind of sort of Thousand Suns vibe that you expect from them. Uh, so without further ado let's dive on in and start putting some of them forward so you can have a look and uh, I'll just get this to focus for you guys. So again the first guy here looks like he's about to use a power or he's summoning something which is quite cool. I uh, love the way the tabards are just floating forward as you can see. All the lenses, gems, gold work, all multiple highlighted and picked out. Uh, and you'll see that throughout all of these sorcerers. Uh, again, just want to show off all different poses and the, the real sort of aspects of detail that are on these models. Great kit. The new GW stuff that's coming out is, is phenomenal, honestly. The amount of detail work that's in there is just really second to none. Uh, so that's the first one. Pull forward the next guy. He's got a really cool beaky helmet, which is cool. And uh, again, he's levitating there on some ethereal flames, which are really cool. He's about to use a power there with his arms stretched out. Just moving around so you can see the same sort of colour contrast on the cape and tabard. Uh, really cool little pink shoulder pad there as well. Just a little gremlin sort of face thing in there as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and I like the backpack with the flames as well, which is something a little bit different. So there you go, that's one of the other sorcerers. Pull forward the next guy in the queue. Uh, again, as you can see, same sort of attention detail. I've got three, four arms there, as you can see, which is a really cool sort of different zinch kind of feel. Uh, as you can see there, again, I love the flowing cape. It's just something a little bit different, really gives movement and uh, sort of a, a dynamic aspect to the model. Uh, cool backpack, as you can see there as well. And again, all multiple highlighted as you expect. Uh, get the next guy forward. I like this one a lot actually, because he looks like he's sort of using the, the, the staff to sort of force the power, which is quite cool. Uh, again, his hand and arm is different to, it's not power arm, but it's just, it's got some feathers and things, which is really cool. Uh, again, there's that sort of little gremlin sort of uh, shoulder pad there, as you can see. Uh, moving around the back, uh, the same sort of uh, ethereal flames there on the backpack and he's levitating with the, the, uh, obviously the flames again as you can see there which is really cool. Uh, I like this uh, sort of bone crested helmet as well which is something a little bit different. Um, it's really just cool, just those, all the little details, it's just there's so much detail on the literally dripping. Um, pull forward the next guy, the first guy on a disc of zinch as you can see here. Uh, I like the way that the uh, sort of tabards are just hovering and floating, it looks like the, the skulls are kind of like uh, firing out to sort of claw at something or sort of bite something. <laughs> Uh, but as you can see there, really, really nice model. And uh, again, this Inch is just done with some ethereal flame at the bottom, which is quite cool. Move that around the back so you can have a look. And again, really large feather there, all multiple highlighted up to bright white on the sort of highest feathers and high, high, highest parts. Again, as you can see, really, really nice. Um, pull forward the guy at the end, and I really like this guy on the uh, other disc of Zinch, just because he looks so aggressive. Um, so if he just gets to focus ever so slightly uh, for you guys, so you can see. And, uh, and there you go, all the detail work, all multiple highlighted, all edged, as you can see there. And uh, again, I'm really, really liking the, even though he's used um, similar sort of parts, as you can see with obviously the firing off tabards at the front, the angle twist and making him look, look to his right rather than left, it just works and makes the model look a bit more unique. Um, again, you've got this similar sort of crest thing here on the end of the staff as well, uh, as, uh, that was on the head of the other one, which is quite cool. And uh, again, really like this one a lot. And put, let's go to the next guy, the final guy on the disc. Pull him forward. Again, as you can see there, all these heads are really, really different, which is so, so cool. It just gives you complete flexibility when making sort of large amounts of characters as you'd expect within a force like this. 
Uh, again, as you can see there, all the full detail work, full highlighting, and uh, no exceptions were spared, full attention to detail. We don't sort of uh, skimp on anything here, as you can see. Uh, so that's the next guy. Uh, guy in the middle at the back, pull him forward so you can have a look. And again, really, really cool, loads of detail. And uh, again, same commanding pose you'd expect. Uh, really, really do like these models a lot, they're phenomenal. And the final guy with a beaky helmet, just so you can see him. Similar sort of thing, he's using a gun just so he's shooting, wanted one to look like he's firing. Uh, as you can see there, full detail work, full highlighting, all the cape and cloak all done. And uh, again, really, really nice clean finish as well. So that's all the sorcerers. Uh, hope you like the HQ section of this video, guys. Uh, next up, we've got all the troops and the tanks and everything else that's going to be coming along. And uh, there's a lot, so stick around. And uh, I hope you're liking the video so far. See you in the next section, which is going to be troops. Hey guys, so here in front of you, you can see all of the troops and uh, there's a lot. So there's 30 Rubik Marines and six Rhinos. Um, now the good thing about it is that what Ben's done is each one of the icon bearers in the 10 man units has had the flames on the icon painted ever so slightly different color. So in that way you can really determine which units are which on a tabletop. It just makes it easier to see which units are which from a, from a glance. Uh, nice little thing like that that Ben's done for, for Lawrence and the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Um, a lot of the uh, Rubik Marines as well with flamers uh, have also got the, the bolt is magnetized so they can be changed over um, the kits aren't 100% designed to do that but it's a little bit little bit fiddly but it can be done um, just so they can be changed over it gives you a bit more flexibility when it comes to using the models on a tabletop uh, so they're, they're a great little thing that we've done there as well uh, so pull forward a couple of models just so you can have a look at them uh, we've got one of the uh, squad uh, sorcerers here as you can see Again, really nice clean uh, finish that we've done on all of the models throughout the whole entire force at a silver level. Uh, and again, as you can see, all the highlighting work done there on all the armor, uh, all the sort of cloth tabards and uh, different aspects of detail on these models. Again, really, really nice models, these Thousand Suns. Um, it gives us hope that hopefully we're going to get a lot more of the uh, cult troops that can be redone in plastic, I would hope. Um, so, but what do you guys think? Chuck some comments below. Uh, so that's just one of the sorcerers here. Pull forward a couple from uh, this squad here at the front, uh, just so you can see. Again, really cool weapon as well. When I first saw this, I was really keen to uh, see what its uh, rules were, and uh, we weren't disappointed. Uh, again, as you can see, the same attention to detail on all the gold work, multiple highlighting, and all the metal work, as you can see there. Uh, really nice clean finish as well for our silver level, as you can see there. So that's just another one of the guys. Um, I'll pull forward one of the icons forward, just so you can see what I mean about the color of the flames, and I'll do that through the three units. So Ben's obviously done these ones blue, as you can see, matching ethereal blue, and we've kept it within the triarch of three colors that have been used throughout the Thousand Suns Army, so the ethereal blue, the purple and also the green uh, so as you can see there as well and uh, really nice models as well like I said, the detail work is phenomenal on all of these uh, so it's just the icon bearer from that unit pull forward one flame up from this unit as well just so you can see with them again as you can see there really cool glowing runes there on the flamer uh, just they've been picked out just to give that extra little bit of detail uh, transfers as you can see all done there as well and uh, all the yellow and blue chevron throughout this force very iconic uh, as you'd expect from Zinch Thousand Suns. Uh, again, so that's just one of the flamers. I'll pull forward the a uh, couple of the other icon bearers just so you can have a look at different, different color flames. Uh, as you can see there, again, green on this guy, uh, which is really, really cool. And uh, again, they all stand out. I like the fact that the kit as well, uh, one good thing about it is that the, the real sort of fluff aspect to the force where regards that they're all just, you know, very sort of robotic in nature where they're uh, sort of just obviously their souls are trapped in the armor. They all look very stoic and like they just are advancing, which is really cool what you can do with a kit. It's not too much sort of crazy posing can be done with it, which is really nice. Uh, and pull forward the other icon bearer forward so you can just have a look at him. And again, get that to focus. Uh, so there you go. As you can see with some purple fl uh, ethereal flames on the icon, just some blue tips as well. So we've used a little bit of the blue as well, as you can see there. Uh, really, really nice models that Ben's done. And uh, yeah, good. So that's just another one of the icon bearers. We'll pull forward a rhino just so you can have a look. Now they're all the same. Um, so we'll just get you guys to have a look at this, get this to focus. As you can see, these have all got the uh, Forge World Zinch doors and front panels on them, uh, as you can see there. So they've all been picked out, multiple highlighted and done. And you've got some transfer work and rhyme and detritus that's been built up on the back as well, as you can see there. A uh, bit of a weathered approach when it comes to the vehicles. Uh, I kind of like it when the troops are quite clean and then obviously the tanks are a little bit weathered. So they just show that they're the ones that have taken most of the brunt of the, uh, of the damage or of the uh, sort of grime and detritus. They've been ferrying the troops around. As you can see, a nice glow there on all the lights. Uh, all the weapons drilled and bolter holes drilled, as you can inspect throughout the, all models on this commission. And... Um, 
Again, as you can see, just little bits of uh, dirt and certain things have been added to different areas of the tanks. All lenses as well and all the hatches uh, have all been picked out, as you can see there as well. So that's just one of the uh, one of the rhinos from this uh, this army. So that's all the troops from this force. Uh, really hope you like them, guys. As I say, this gets to focus overall to so get a final shot of them. Uh, next up, we've got all the elites that are coming up. Uh, so I do hope you stick around and watch that. And uh, we'll see you in the next bit of the video. Hey guys, so onto the elites for this army. In front of you, you can see 15 rubric terminators, and then at the back, we've got three Forge World uh, rubric dreadnoughts as well, which are really cool models. Um, so let's dive on in and have a look at this aspect of the force. Uh, we'll put forward a couple of the terminators forward so you can have a look at them straight away. Uh, again, same attention to detail, glowing runes on the guns, all the edge highlighting and all the multiple highlights on all the different areas of the models. Uh, again, you can see you've got uh, transfers have all been done. Uh, really nice, clean, concise finish uh, on these terminators. Uh, really like them, very, very poseable as well, which is really nice. And uh, this is just a good example of a uh, sort of silver level throughout sort of uh, many different armies that we complete here at the studio. Uh, so that's just one of the Terminators. Pull forward the Sorcerer so you can have a look at him. Again, really cool posing, real like, sort of do dominating kind of a look as well uh, with a really cool cloak as well. As you can see there are multiple sort of highlights and colours put into that cloak to give it a nice sort of contrast and depth. Uh, and then moving around again, uh, I love the pose uh, a lot and uh, the staff as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's one of the sorcerers from the unit. Uh, a little bit of magnetizing work has been done on these as well, which just gives Lawrence and the guys a bit of flexibility. So as you can see here, the flame where he's magnetized uh, and uh, all the other weapons, your salt cannons and other bits and bobs are all done as well, as you can see there. Uh, again, you've got some really nice highlighting work on all the sort of uh, different aspects of the armor panels, the gold work uh, and all the different areas, all the eyes and everything picked out as well. And uh, the bone sort of bone sort of talons at the front as well, were all sort of highlighted as well, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just one of the heavy weapons. Um, pull forward a couple of others, just so you can have a look at them. Again, you've got one here with also the missile racks at the back as well, uh, which is really really cool. Uh, again, you've got all the sort of, uh, sort of glowing runes on the guns that have all been highlighted as well, as you can see there. So that's just another one of the terminators. And uh, pull forward one with the assault cannon, as you can see here, uh, just so you can have a look at that. And that is obviously magnetized as well, just so that can be changed for any of the other weapons. Uh, again, as you can see, it's giving a little spin round. So you can see all the detail work that's done on him, all the eyes and little things all picked out. Um, again, and all the gems and everything all picked out, as you can see there. So that's just another one. Uh, pull forward a couple, one of the dreadnoughts. So, you have a look. so all three are the same. Uh, and what Ben has done is they are fully magnetized. So literally, you can pose it as well, which is really, really cool. Just makes it look a little bit more flexible on the tabletop. A little bit of a conversion work as well with the flamers that have been put on here. Uh, these have come from uh, spare flamers from the Rubric Marine box set as well, uh, just to give that sort of uh, zinch feel onto the dreadnoughts a little bit more as well. Uh, and as you can see here, all the last cannons with a really grimace sort of more on there where the barrel was coming out, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, overall, really, really nice dreadnoughts, which are cool. Again, all the lenses and everything all picked out so you can see all the aspects of detail work that he's done uh, with silver level here. And you've also got like I said, some weathering as well. It's been done so in the armor panels and things, as you can see there as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's just one of the dreadnoughts. Um, if you have any questions at all, like, please obviously feel free to just uh, drop some comments below, which is really cool. Or, or visit our website as well uh, and drop us a message through there. But that's the elite section of this force, guys. I hope you do like that. Uh, going to be finishing up this video with the heavy support section, and then we're going to just go on to a final army shot again at the end. Uh, but thanks for sticking through where you are currently. I hope you enjoy the last bit, and we'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, and last but by no means least, we have the heavy support section, and in front of you, as you can see, we've got three Predator Annihilators. And now for all of you that have no 8th edition and have started looking at the weapon stats and things like that, Last cannons are extremely deadly now in 40k, um, really, really do pack a punch, and they, they are sort of very fear-causing. Um, obviously, there's three annihilators in front of you, as you can see, so that's, that's a lot of firepower. Um, pull, one, pull them forward, so you just so you can have a look. They're all the same, so we'll pull the central one forward, so you, so you can have a look. Uh, just get that to focus for you guys. Um, but as you can see there, no expense has been spared, like the rest of this uh, huge army. All the lenses all picked out with point of light sources, as you can see there. Uh, multiple sort of edge highlights on all the different armor panels. A really nice sort of little bit of conversion with all the sort of dragon heads on all the last cannons as well, just to give it that very sort of zinc feel and continue that across through the commission. Uh, as you can see there, a little bit of weathering and damage on the back there, just a little bit of subtle sort of uh, detritus and sort of uh, soot and dirt that's caught in the recesses and things like that, which is really, really nice. All the individual lenses there, as you can see, uh, all the guns have all been picked out and detailed done. Sort of nice 
Zenith will glow there on all the lights just to give them a bit of power. Not too over the top Zenith, but just, just right. So it's got that glowing energy, but not sort of very sort of dirty and messy covering most of the tank. If that makes sense. It's just really, really nice, sort of subtle. Uh, less is a lot more, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, overall, really nice, cleanish finish with a little bit of dirtiness and, and sort of damage and chipping in certain areas where we would get caught most. Uh, but yeah, overall, really sort of menacing sort of uh, three tanks that are now going to sort of dominate uh, in the new 8th edition with the firepower that they do put out. Anyway, we're going to get to the uh, end of this video. I'm sure you'll be glad to see the army once again in its full glory altogether. Uh, just to wrap this video up, but thanks for sticking around all the way to the end. If you have stuck around to the end, uh, it's been a great project to work on, and we're going to finish up now. Catch you in a sec. So there we have it all completely wrapped up. So you've seen all different aspects of the army and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Sorry if it's been a bit of a long one, guys. Um, again, loads of great models in this force and it's been a real pleasure to work on. Uh, so uh, if you want to check out Tabletop Tactics, uh, if you go into the description of this video, it'll have a, a link to uh, their YouTube channel and also their website where their on-demand service is. Uh, great battle reports. You can go and watch this army wreck havoc. And uh, if you're interested in a commission, hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of the size and the scale of projects we can work on for you as a client of Siege. Uh, if you're interested in a commission, whether it be a character, vehicle, army, or just an additions to forces that you already have, uh, all you need to do is just head to our website, which is www.siegestudios.co.uk. Click on the contact tab and then just complete the contact form, selecting the options from the drop down boxes and drop us a quick message and uh, we'll get the ball rolling. Uh, please go check out all our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we're on all of those. Uh, give us a follow and a like. And as always guys, please like, please comment and please subscribe to our YouTube. We really do appreciate it ever so much uh, and you guys keeping up to date with everything that's happening through the studio. As always, see you guys on the next one and thanks so, so much. Take care. Bye bye.